All right, we're going to show you how to take a stock 99 to 06 Chevy truck, Suburban, Tahoe, whatever, wiring harness, and get your LS swap going with the stock fuse block. So here's the stock fuse block from the truck. Everything's labeled, you know, like factory. And you only need a few hookups to get your motor running. The first one's right here. That's your main power on that little bolt right there. So you got to get battery power to here. Once you get battery power to here, go ahead and flip the fuse block over. Now, when you got your donor, you want to cut your other connectors off because you're going to need that one and you're going to need, we're going to get it right one of these days, that one. So you're going to need these connectors. This one goes to the engine over here. So on this one, this is what powers up the fuse block to get all this stuff to work right. You want to get A9. So it's the, it's the A block and the ninth pin. A9, this wire right here, you want to switch source from your truck to power this up. That'll get things alive and going on the engine. Now on the transmission, this right here, E2 powers F2, but it's in one of these connectors down here. So you actually need to put power on the E2 wire too. It needs a switch source power because the E2 gives power to F2 and goes down to the transmission. So you gotta have that. So that's your second wire. The third wire in here you wanna use, if you want your fuel pump to work off the factory relay, is F1, it's this gray wire right here. And you can just, you're not gonna be able to see it on camera. You can, if you have a magnifying glass, you can just barely, barely see that says F there. And then the one somewhere else. Can you see that? Okay, kinda. All right, so that's how you see those little letters. They're real small. So we'll start over again. You got battery over here. Got your battery connector. Constant power. Then you've got this A9 that powers up the computer. Not. Then you need E2 power on that switch power to get to the transmission. And then you got F1 over here on your fuel pump. And that'll get your your swap running. There's a couple other hookups I'll show in a later video for the PD1 port, your torque converter lockup wire to go to the brake switch, and that's really all you need to be running and driving. So stay tuned.